Hi, this is John Dreyer for Fender University, and I'm here with Chris Fleming. Chris is going to give us some tips on how to properly install a new string guide on your new Fender neck. Now, Chris, how do you determine where to install it, and what tools do we need to do that? Okay. Well, as to where to install it, all strats are about the same spot, which is just opposite the A string on the high E and B string. You can choose to put the string tree wherever you'd like, but traditionally, a strat's here, and a a 50s telly is here, and a 60s telly is here. Okay. So, Tool-wise, it's best to have uh, a small, this is a 16th inch drill bit, and a, and a driver like this, and then you'll need a, a screwdriver, Phillips head, and a little bit of wax or soap to help uh, lubricate the, the screw. So, the way I would uh, locate the string tree is to put it on the actual guitar. This one's a little tricky because of the tab that holds the string tree in place. The drill is going to be in the middle of the two strings and I'm going to carefully start the hole. Don't want to go too far because if you do, you go right out the back of the peg head and that's not a good thing. I know I need another small hole right behind it and so I'm going to line that up myself like this. Now I always use a little bit of wax or soap to get the screw lubricated to make it a lot easier to install the screw into the peg head. I'm going to place the string tree right where I need it. It makes it a little easier if you have the screw already in the string tree. Then I'm going to carefully screw it down. And then you'll notice the two holes are there because the, the back of the string tree has a little locating pin that'll go into the second hole. There we go. Now you don't have to over tighten it just enough to keep it snug. That's the basic way to do this type of a, a string guide. A vintage string guide is just one hole, so it's much easier. You just place either the wing right over where you want it and drill the hole and then screw it in, or, or the disc on a telly, early telly, which would be up in this area. They have notches in them. You put it on the string. You hold it where you want it. You do a pilot hole and you screw it in. It's much easier. This is the most difficult one. Okay. Now, could you install more than one? String retainer? Yeah, of course yeah. you can. Um, in fact, in certain eras of Fender, we had string retainers in two places, and I've seen people put them on all three, depending on what they want so to do. So it's a preference. It is a preference. Okay. And you can also move this wherever you want. Okay. Some players like to bend strings behind the nut, and so this would probably work better for that purpose if you moved it back to maybe the, the fourth tuner area. Okay. But that's up to you. Well, thank you very much, Chris. For more information and to find out where to purchase Fender bodies and necks and other parts, please visit Fender.com.